What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today we're going to have a nice little quick video, and I just want to talk to you guys about some things that I feel you just might need to know. I mean, I feel like I already know this going into this, but maybe I need to pass it on to you guys so you guys know that I am aware and you don't have to really like hit me up about this because it's about to be a long season. Um, if you guys don't know, I did just sign up for 60 Days In and it released last week. So with that being said, ever since the show came out, obviously there are a lot of opinions and people have comments that I'm just not gonna respond to. But at the end of the day, um, you can see baby Brendel over here just chilling in the cut watching TV. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, there's so many comments that I do see, I'm not gonna lie, I'm the type of person who wants to know what people are talking about anyway. So naturally, I'm gonna check the comment section of these videos and all these things that are being posted on social media. So I've seen all of the negative comments when it comes to Darius on 60 Days In and the decisions that Darius makes, as well as just like just the mean comments in general. People are assholes. This is common sense, I know this. So what I can say, when I signed up for the show, I did know that people would say some mean things. Um, that was something that me and, me and Katie, we talked about going in um, because it's social media. At the end of the day, there are a lot of warriors who like to sit behind a keyboard and just talk junk or people who really don't know your situation or know your lifestyle or even know your true purpose or even know who you are. They will have opinions about you and even though sometimes we're not gonna like the things that we see, obviously there's some things that are gonna be very hurtful. Um, we understand that we we so-called ask for this. We put ourselves out there. And that's just like with any platform. If you post a picture on social media and people are in your comments and they're talking junk or just talking negative about that photo, guess what? You posted that picture on social media. So unfortunately we have to take all that comes with that. I signed up for this program, so unfortunately, I am going to have to take all of the backlash that comes with it. Doesn't mean that I'm going to like it. Doesn't mean that it is right. It's just something that I have to deal with. And I am just so amazed at how he is just into whatever he's watching or was watching. <laughs> he's just really into this TV show. And, you know, I know one of the biggest things that I've seen so far is like me missing the birth of my kid. Um, missing the birth of my child clearly was not easy and in the tv show i actually said that i got to see the birth of the child via facetime although it's not the same me being there in person i got to see my baby's birth through facetime and i said that on the show as well but a lot of people overlooked that they didn't hear that part so i did get blessed and i did get to see the birth of my child but a lot of people are mad that i just took the opportunity to miss the whole birth of my child so with that also being said i want to say this there are so many jobs that people miss the birth of their child for all the time. Um, one of my friends messaged me, he just had a baby, and he said that he missed the birth of his child because he was working in a completely different state. And it happens, people miss the birth of their children all the time. This is something that me and Katie also sat down and we actually talked about. People miss the birth of their children all the time. So, and if you guys know me, you, you already know that I don't feel like I'm greater than anybody else. Okay, I'll take that back there. Sometimes I do feel like certain humans are better than other humans in certain situations. But you know me, I'm what I mean. Like overall, I don't feel like I'm better than anybody else. So with that being said, we have a lot of people in the military who miss the birth of their children all of the time for many, many reasons. It don't even necessarily have to be for war. They get, can get deployed somewhere else and they're missing the birth of their child truck drivers, people who work at like certain places, they miss the birth of their child all the time. But just because you miss the birth of your child, that does not mean you're missing on your child's entire life. Um, again, obviously, people are gonna have their opinions. People are gonna have their comments. It is what it is. What I, what I do ask, yeah. What I do ask of you guys is, if you see a negative comment about me, Dante, AKA Darius on 60 Days In, don't send it to me. Don't come in my inbox showing me the comments that are being sent or the things that are being said. Because again, I already told you, I'm probably have already seen the negative comment and I'm not gonna respond to it. People are allowed to have their opinions. 
there are some things that people do in life that I don't like myself. It is my opinion, but that does not mean that is necessarily right. At the end of the day, I just want people to understand that these decisions were not made lightly. Um, who wants to miss the birth of their child? Like who, who, who wants to do that? I definitely didn't. But again, sometimes life, there, there are other things that's bigger than us. So with that being said, sometimes just mind your damn business, <laughs> you know? Um, that's an option too. Sometimes we can just mind our business and not really worry about what everybody else is doing, what everybody else has going on in their life. And we, we have a whole accident. Let me get my baby up. So basically in summation of this video, I do want to say to everybody who follows me and you know who I am. Like I've put myself out there for so long on YouTube that it's kind of hard to hide who you are as a human being. And hopefully you guys know who I am. You know, I'm just, I'm a, I'm a human man, you know? And like I said on the show, my intentions were completely pure going on that show. And hopefully it all will get revealed. There's a lot of things that I can't talk about right now. There are some things that I will address a little bit later on down the line, but right now is just not that time. Um, I'm just really focusing my life on maintaining my business right now, trying to be the best father that I can possibly be. I'm still learning all of the stuff when it comes to becoming a father, um, you know, and just really trying to get my life back together because doing the show was emotionally draining as well. There's a lot of battles that I'm still dealing with mentally and putting myself back in that situation may not have been the best, but at the end of the day, I, I don't have any regrets. Um, you know, so to all the trolls who think they're going to get, get at me and who feel like they're going to hurt my feelings by the things that they say, okay, I can keep it a buck with you. There's one or two comments I read and I was like, ah, that kind of hurt. Or it's like, damn, that's how you feel. You don't even know me and you have that opinion. But then again, I think about like, it's the internet. And then half the people who are saying all these things would never approach me and say it to my face, you know? Um, so with that being said, they can continue being the internet trolls that they are. It is what it is, guys. So... You know, with doing the show 60 days in, I knew there would be haters at the end of the day. I knew there would be haters and I knew there would be a lot of comments that I don't like, but I'm going to have to deal with. But we're OK over here. So to the people who are concerned, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And to the people that know me at the end of the day, you already know what time it was. You know what time it is and you know my heart. And that is what matters. You know, I used to get caught up in caring about what people believed about me. And now I don't, I, I really don't care. Um, again, I may read a comment or two and it's like, damn, they said that. And then I'll get over it because it is what it is, but it's not going to hold me back from being me. It's not going to hold me back and it's not going to put me in a depressive state. What hurts more is the people who see these comments thinking it's a good idea to send it to me. Like, ooh, this is what they're saying. Let me send it to Dante. Like, what makes you think that's a good idea? So if you see some negativity about me, Dante, Darius, or anything, not even just necessarily dealing with the show, with other people talking, like even just other people talking, if you're in a conversation and you hear somebody talking negative about me, don't feel the need that you have to run and rush it to me because I don't care. Because a lot of these people who are talking, I don't know, they don't know me, we don't know each other, so it really don't matter. So at the end of the day, I understand a lot of you guys are trying to have my back, but we're not gonna worry about those haters, okay? We're not gonna worry about those haters. We're gonna stand firm on what we believe, and we believe that putting forth our best effort into putting out positivity on a daily basis, trying to help other people on a daily basis, and just doing the best that we can, and that's is our mission, our purpose, and hopefully we will never stop doing that because that is what I believe life is about. Trying to help as many people as we can as we are here on this earth. 
But anyways, guys, I just want to put that video out really quick and just let you know, like, again, I see the haters. It is what it is. They ain't gonna hate. They they ain't gonna uh, hold me back. They ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying, hate on me. Ain't that right, Booger Tugger? Ain't that right? You tell them, Booger Tugger. Yeah, yeah. So me and Brendel, we good. Um, he has his daddy here. May have missed a birth, but he treats me like I never did. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. And we see a little spit up coming, so it's time to end the video because we ain't going to bless y'all with that. But anyways, guys, make sure that you bless somebody today because I promise you I'm going to bless somebody tomorrow at this point in time. Thank you again for all those who've been here since day one and have been so supportive. Ain't nobody changing over here. But anyways, at this point in time, your boy Tay, me and Brindell, we're out. Say bye, boogie doogie. Bye-bye.